Hello everybody, it's Mateo. We have defeated Crush and Gulp. We now must take the fight to Ripto's front door. So let's go ahead and take back Avalar in the finale of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon 2, Ripto's Rage. There he is, except that's only a picture of him. Uh, shall we see the real Ripto, perhaps? Hello, real Ripto, you're actually moving and you have the scepter and there's some sheep. You, I need those butterflies, actually. Please don't kill them. I need butterflies when you eventually hit me. Wow, you're a terrible shot. This should be an easy battle. Hey, shorty. Maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. No, I won't. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Oh, we shall see about that, Ripto. And there's your picture again, as though I hadn't seen your ugly face enough. And your strange single horn. So, wait, is, is Ripto a unicorn? Is that what this is? Oh, hello, Zoe. Okay, so, yeah. All 64 of them, yep. Oh, Hunter will probably make me play mini-games for them, for all I know. Okay. Interesting. Good news, everybody. The Professor has new abilities for us. And there you can see Ripto's health bar, and also we're picking up orbs and stuff. We wanna, oh, we wanna pick them up before he does. And once you get three, you can have some type of super special power. Uh, I think it depends on like what orbs you got. Okay, so for instance, now I have toxic bombs. Holy crap, this is way cool. However, I really can't hit him. Oh, I got him once, okay. And then you just kind of spam your power and stuff. Okay, so what's this one? Red? I th I'm thinking toxic bombs again. Oh, no. Nope. Flame. We've had this one before. But they really don't last a very long time. Oh, come on. I hit him there. Oh, well. Oh, shoot. Yes. Ow. Well, at least you didn't get that. And, like, murdered my face. Okay, so toxic bombs again. It seems like it's kind of random with what you get. And you can only hit him with the orb powers. Okay, so he has three, and he is barfing up puke bubbles or something like that. I don't even know. So really, this fight is pretty cool, actually, with just a whole bunch of the different powers. Aw oh, man, I was hoping that I would get the toxic bomb power and be able to hit him right there, but no. Ah, oh, there we go. Halfway dead, I'm at green sparks, and all of a sudden he's all blue. His orbs. I wonder what the blue one does. Probably a nice breath type of thing. And now he has all red. Whoa, okay, flame wave, got it. Good thing I killed those sheep. No, wait, no, I want that green. Toxic bombs. Boom, boom, boom. Actually hit him, please, Spyro. Stop running. Aw, oh, we got him in the last second again. However, I could I could use that sheep. They're giving me a bit of, quite a bit of sheep. Holy crap, I'm now back to regular yellow sparks and he's going to barf up things again yep barf toxic barf god no wonder that hurts so much it's kind of disgusting okay what does blue do i'd like to get a third blue gem however i don't see that happening oh man okay maybe it will happen now and how dare you hit me i didn't even hold still for you nope don't get that okay toxic bombs i can't see him anymore oh double hit triple hit and he has a million health all of a sudden no i don't want you to pick up that orb hurry up kill sheep kill sheep okay i have a hit hurry up kill another sheep <laughs> you can see hunter there in the background just kind of flying around and wait a minute did i okay um what's going on now mecha gulp he's all evil and stuff okay so now we have here a mecha gulp so, uh, this better be like a checkpoint, because I'm kind of almost dead already. And it looks like he's going to eat orbs and stuff and still have superpowers because of them. But I think that he has the same basic attack pattern as Gulp. He just might have different powers based on what, yeah, excuse me, orbs he gets. I'm still curious. Yeah, he has different powers. Oh, crap. I really hope I don't die. They give you plenty of sheep, though. Holy crap. Thank you, Hunter. You're actually being helpful for once. Now, if only I could 
Here we go. At least he's a bigger target, I guess. And he doesn't run away like a little baby. So you could spam him like three, four times with each hit. And don't pick that up. Did I get hurt from that? No, I didn't. However, I did get hit by his uh, flame attack. I want that sheep. Give me that sheep. Oh, I got hit. Oh, nice. One up. Which means that I get a fully green sparks, or fully yellow sparks, actually. Let's go ahead and blow him up a couple times with our toxic bomb ability. Yeah, that him like four or five times. Nice. However, he does take a lot more hits, so that's kind of the downside to it. I'm getting hit a lot all of a sudden. Okay, spam! Spam! Make him hop! Okay, now I could use some sheep. Do we have any sheep around here? Yes, we do. I don't want to die. Okay, focus on getting sheep for a minute. That was weird. The entire screen just kind of glitched out a bit, I think. Oh well. And the dog is barking. Quite the final battle. However, this is pretty awesome. I wonder if you'll have a crush thing as well. Don't pick that up. Okay, it looks like... Oh, okay, look out for the shadows and don't hit them. That's easy enough. And hit you with toxic bombs and you're down. Okay, so now what, Ripto? Your mecha, cr your mecha gulp is gone. Do you have a mecha crush as well? Well, it looks like what we have here are metal or... Okay, we have golden orbs. So it looks like now I can fly forever, and you uh, kind of gave up on your whole crush idea and instead have gone for a random bird thing, and this is- oh my god! Suddenly everything's all flamey, but we can shoot infinite these things and just kind of aim for him and, like, don't get hit by his attacks. So overall, this is a really awesome final boss. It's much better than the one from the previous game where it was just Gnasty Gnork running around like a little baby and you go through an entire level. This is so much better. And Ripto is an awesome villain too. I mean, he doesn't really have much motivation, but still, he's a great antagonist, an antagonist to Spyro. I have to be really careful too because I'm kind of at green sparks and I don't want to die because I'm not sure if it'll make me redo the entire battle. You're almost done, Ripto. Maybe we could push him into the flame and then he won't reappear in another game. However, I doubt that. These kinds of games have difficulties killing off their bosses. I mean, for instance, Mario and Bowser. I mean, really, that wasn't that bad. However, it was really cool. And yeah, I really don't see anybody surviving that ever. So yeah, that's... I think we're done here. I mean, Ripto kind of blew up in the, yep, Ripto defeated, and there's his face one last time. Except he should be on fire and or a skeleton. And dancing, perhaps, if you were like that other skeleton. So let's see here. Okay, so the power crystal goes in the guidebook, except kind of poorly, because there wasn't a place to put the thing in. But oh well. So hello, guys. I saved your world. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. <gasps> oh, really? Do not. Hunter? Hey, give that back! Very good, Hunter. Very good. Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalon. No, he isn't. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks! Sparks, can you grab him? Yeah, that's what Sparks does, Spyro. In the new coordinates, and there! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Good news, everyone, we can go to Dragon Shores. could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. Not really. For weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. And that is our game, except almost. Uh, Dragon Shores is an actual bonus level, kind of like uh, Gnasty's loot in the last game, except it doesn't have like gems and stuff, it's just for a little extra thing that you can use. But I'm not entirely sure of whether they show the credits again once you finish that level, I'm pretty sure not, so I'm just going to talk through these. So overall, 
It was a very fun let's play, I mean, aside from a whole bunch of technical difficulties, which were some my fault, some just my equipment's fault, overall it was just a lot of fun. It's a really fun game, and I recommend that you pick this up, I mean, just like all the worlds, well, most of the worlds are really nice, a couple of them are a pain at times, uh, Hunter can be a pain, but other than that, I mean, it's a really, really fun game, and if you're a fan of the collecting slash platforming genre, then this is a very fun game for you. Kind of difficult at times, but overall not that bad. And I mean, it's only like $5 on the PlayStation Store downloading things, so it's not like you're breaking the bank to get this game. So yeah, overall, I recommend that you pick this up if you have a PlayStation and, and are a, fa a fan of the platforming collecting genre. So yeah, it's a ton of fun. Uh, it's also, in my opinion, this is probably the best of the three, at least in my opinion, so there's that. And, well, the best of the three main trilogy, I don't know about Enter the Dragonfly, but I know that a lot of people weren't a big fan of it. I have yet to play through the entire thing, so there's that. Also, so yeah, that's what I think of the game. Let's Play went pretty well, wasn't really... Other than the technical difficulties here or there, uh, it went well, I had fun, so yeah. Now as for future projects and stuff, I'm going to withhold the info on what my next Let's Play is going to be, however I am going to focus on Super Mario Bros. 3 because I kind of, uh, that kind of accidentally went on a little mini hiatus just because I didn't have time to record both this and that. So I'm going to focus on Super Mario Bros. 3, finish that up, and then I'm going to move on to other games. So yeah, there's that. Now, as for the rest of this series, I am planning on do the, doing the third one eventually. Uh, not immediately, I'd like to do... I don't like to do two games of the same series, like, w right after another. So, yeah, it's going to be a short while until I do the third one. I probably won't be until, like, summer, maybe. I mean, we're, like, heading into spring now. I um, probably don't want to be doing something this big in the middle of school again. Just because I need access to my computer and stuff for different things. And this, like, stuff like this, especially with, like, recording Dazzle, puts my computer out of commission for, like, the next two hours as I render and stuff. So there's that. So it probably won't be until summer, around then, maybe, until then I'll just play other things, of course. And, yeah, there's that. So the third one won't happen till then, and then the fourth one, Enter the Dragonfly, will happen sometime after the third one. I have no idea when that'll happen. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much everything. I had a lot of fun, I hope you enjoyed watching this. But why am I saying that now? We aren't necessarily done yet. We still have Dragon Shores to look at and do stuff in. We finally have, we'll finally have our vacation, which is awesome. I wonder which one of these uh, voiced the professor. Also, which one voiced Ripto, but oh well. And yeah, this is, we're nearing the end of our game, or credits right now. And then we can go ahead and check out Dragon Shores. In fact, let's go check out Dragon Shores. Which means I need to pick up the controller again. Okay, picked up. So let's see, what do we have going on here? Uh, in a second, if it would load, there we go. So let's see here. Oh my god, look at all those gems. 10,000 exactly. And also 64 orbs. So very nice, very nice. Uh, we could go back to Winter Tundra if we wanted. There's nothing really back here. We could just kind of swim a little bit. Uh, best vacation ever. Let's go ahead and talk to this weird looking guy. Well done, Spyro. He's a gatekeeper. Right on into Dragon Shores Park. Yes, please. You see, when you hear Dragon Shores, you would think like a beach or something, but no. This is actually sort of an amusement park. By the way, if you win 10 tokens, you can visit our theater. Yeah, so basically what we want to do here is earn 10 tokens by doing mini games and stuff. And, um, here's the main thing of Dragon Shores. 
is this. We now have infinite fireballs like this. Kind of game breaking, however at this point you've probably 100% of the game, so it's kind of worthless. But if you, in fact I think you had to collect everything in order to get this. But oh well, we can go over here and dunk the Yeti. Yeah, in indeed it was, it was pretty awesome. I, at, at least the fireballs are useful for this. And then he'll throw you another ball, however let's actually somewhat use the fireball power. Uh, camera. There we go. Okay, let's do it again. See, fireball power is really only useful for this. Indeed, especially with the fireball power. And unfortunately, we can't get all 10 tokens just from doing this. You know, let's actually use the ball this time, just to do it the way that it was supposed to be done. Oh hey, look, it's that penguin. I will gladly... You know what? No, I'm not going to shoot it at him. Let's just go ahead and... Stupid penguin. Wow, I missed. Okay, whatever. Fireball it is. And there goes the penguin. Wow, you really are a great shot. Yes, I am. I've been doing this for the entire game. So yeah, you can get three tokens from him. The easiest tokens to pick up. Also, I still have green sparks. It would have been really awesome if they gave you, like, uh, every single power. Or at least, like, the ability to switch to Ice Breath if you wanted to, and maybe... Uh, for a uh, forever flying thing. Maybe also invincibility, but that would be even more game breaking, even though you probably need 100% to do it anyways, and then you can just mess around and stuff. So, yeah, this is our theater. This is what we're trying to open with 10 tokens. So, yeah, that's a roller coaster. I'll do that in a minute. That's the main thing. And oh, look, there's the penguin guy again. And there's one of the, there's some of the rock creatures. And there he's riding with the monk. There's Hansel and Gretel, or whatever their names were. There's a monk guy. No, there's the caveman and his snow leopard. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a ride. This is the easiest token, actually. Oh, look, there's Agent Zero. So it's just kind of interesting, because you can see, like, all of your... All of the characters in the game, in the... Uh, love Boat, or whatever it's called. Uh, there's... The Yeti and one of those fawns. There's a monk and a fawn. A turtle and a monk. Oh dear god. Oh wow. And oh, hi, I'm pretty sure that's a guy, okay. Well, I'm not judging Spyro. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is what I'm trying to do, thanks. Okay, so there's that, we have four tokens now, and let's go ahead and do this minigame. Hello there. Hi. Yeah, I just kind of did that other shooting mini game. Shooting gallery, huh? Go for it, yes. Oh, oops. Okay, so he'll set the timer. We have to shoot ducks, apparently. Ten of them. And we have a timer on this, so we don't get to use the infinite flame power up to break this. But just kind of like spam your flame and stuff. You should be fine. It isn't that bad. Nelson, why are all these guys' names, like, spelled with a G? I think they all are. Are they Norks by any chance? I don't know, maybe. What exactly okay, is a Nork, I'll even? Other than you can ask, you can Ork. Okay, so now we have to shoot ten of these guys. Yeah, are actually eight, never mind. A lot less, but they kind of, like, pop in and out. Uh, unannounced, really. It's kind of like Whack-A-Mole, but with flame and death. Which is nice. Uh, if I could actually hit some, that would be great. I need one more. Aw, oh, come on, I, he, I missed like five of my shots with that guy. There we go, not that bad. Thank you. Yeah, token. That's like six, I think. Yep, six. Yep, I am. And this is our final round. No, you'll just give me a super flame power-up that'll only work for so long, and that's your timer. Now we have the lizards from the first level. Um, well, Glimmer. So now we get to finally get our revenge with infinite flame. Even though we killed- no, we killed them with rocks the first time, never mind. Uh, apparently they're like, um... Think, think, think. What could they possibly be? I would say flying type? Maybe they're fire type. I don't know. Okay, so there's his last token. That's seven. And now let's go to the big one, the one that gave me the most 
trouble the roller coaster. Okay. If you can pop all yeah. balloons on the track, a token is We have to pop it. balloons. To so it's kind of like it's like uh the coaster the minecart thing there. in They're Breeze Harbor. Yeah, mm -hmm. so pop all the balloons and there are three versions to this game and Oh no, you just run into them. Could have sworn they had to shoot them and oh my god a turtle. But it gets harder and harder, and the third one is actually really hard, but you should be oh I missed one. Like, oh, hello there, Gizmo guy. Uh, that sounds like Spongebob. But yeah, you should- Oh man. I was going to say that you should be able to get them all in one go, but I'm missing some here. Like, see, there's just one track, you're not really turning around in different directions. So yeah, there's that. And I think the second one you have to go, like, different directions, like, turn, you can see other ways to go, really. Okay, I don't think that I even have to jump ever except over these guys, and I almost hit him. Stupid Spongebob guy. Also, this video is getting a bit long, although it is the finale, so... Yeah, no. Good job, You're welcome, and I swear that these guys are norks because all of their names are spelled with G-N, so that's a nice hint. But they're nice norks, I guess. They're good, nice good norks. Ah. Yeah, so now we have to turn and stuff in order to get certain... Uh, get certain balloons. And now there are 50, so my god, that's a lot. You see, we can like... Oh, well, no, we can't. I guess I'm going this way then. So it's more like Breeze Harbor in this sense, where we can turn and stuff. And... Okay, I can't turn the other way. Never mind. I get. I guess I'm turning all the other. I'm turning the other way later on. I guess. I just purposely missed that one. I swear it was on purpose. I. I. I didn't not see it. Of course I saw it. What are you talking about? Okay, so let's prepare to head left now. We went all the right directions. Even though I'm pretty sure that left will bring you in a small circle and bring you back to the main track, so it's probably best to go left first every time in order to get the, the few on that track, and wow, really? I missed one? Well, let's go back around again to get it. Didn't know that you had to jump there. So overall, it's kind of a disappointment of a bonus level. I mean, the one in Spiral 1 was better. I mean, all, the infinite flying and stuff was really neat. But I mean, it's still neat. It's a nice little addition to the game, I guess. Infinite firepower is pretty cool, although useless at this point. And let's head right now to get to the last track. We have 42 out of 50 balloons, so Spyro no now knows how old the universe is. Uh, and everything for that matter, and jump for that one. And this is pretty much it, and we have a very nice looking loop-de-loop -loop right here. Hold on tight, Spyro! Wait a minute, there aren't even- you're not even buckled in and there aren't any handrails. What is this? Oh well, there's our last one. And now we get to the really hey, difficult game. Yep, token. not bad at all. So that's 9 out of 10 tokens, and for the last there's one, we one have more one more course. On Indeed, although actually I'm on a coaster. What are you doing attaching a cannon to a roller coaster? Okay, fine. Watch out for the other coasters out there. It's Excuse me. Yeah, look out for the SpongeBobs. Why would you design a why would you design a roller coaster in which the coasters are going in two different directions? But yeah, we can shoot now, and I think you have to shoot the red balloons because they're not actually on the track. Yeah, see red right there. So when y whenever you see one, just start spamming your cannon, and you should get it. And again, try to go left first because that'll just lead to a loop de loop type of thing. And I missed that one. Whoa! I almost didn't see you because of the balloons. Uh, could I hit that one? Yep. Okay, so going around again, I'm pretty sure that this is where the loop-de-loop -loop is. Oh, I missed- oh, no, I did not. Okay, I got that one. Okay, uh, is there another Spongebob coming up? Nope, okay. Well, kind of, but he was a while away. Oh, no, this is the one with the loop-de-loop, -loop, and I also missed a balloon, so I'm going to need to make sure to re-get that. And, of course, let's have Spyro ride through some explosions. Yeah, Spyro's cool like that, he's manly like that, with explosions. Okay, and if I could- oh wait, no, I'm- well, I have to go around this track anyways, so never mind. Okay, so, 
two more and they're both red balloons that I have yet to get. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I don't remember what was so bad about this, however, I don't want to jinx it, so this is the most awful thing ever. Okay, so, yeah, two more. Was there one on this track, I think? Well, it doesn't hurt to check. No, there wasn't, I got that one. I think. Yeah, nothing here, okay. So they're all in the third section of the coaster. Okay, let's do this. Um... Uh, no. Oh, crap. No! Sp Spongebob! Oh, I had one more left. Okay, uh, cut to my successful attempt because we're already at 25 minutes and there's really nothing to cut out yet. No, oh, God, Spongebob, no! Ah, uh, can I please shoot the Spongebobs with my cannon? Oops, went the wrong way. Oh well, I have to step around anyways. Okay, I don't really have an idea of where all the missed balloons are, but I missed quite a bit. Uh, there was one track that I missed, which will hold a bunch, but still, like, I missed quite a few, and they're mostly reds, uh, because they're jerks like that, and... Oh, I missed that one again. But yeah, this is the track that I missed, so... Shutting up a gun! Okay, I gotta go that way again, because I missed the red balloon. 99 red balloons! Why did that take me so long, even though there's really 50 and only like 5 of them are red? There we go. Still seriously, like 99 red balloons, I mean, my god. Okay, so go this way. Oh, they're both right here. So just keep on going left until you can eventually get it, and then get the one right there. Okay, I, I think I got this. And explosions! This was directed by Michael Bay! That is the guy with a whole bunch of explosions, right? I'm not exactly sure. I don't pay attention to directors and stuff like that. Oh, I missed that again. Come on now, me. Let's do this. More Michael Bay! I sure hope that that's the right guy. Because if not, I'm going to f feel dumb. Okay, let's, let's do this. Do this right this time. Go left. Fire! Ah, got it! Now there's just that one right there, but there is a Spongebob in the way. So we first must get past our mortal enemy, Spongebob! And then we can hit the last red balloon, which is only the 50th and not the 99th. But oh well. Hit it! Ah, there we go. We didn't even have to fight Spongebob. Slash jump over him. Okay, so that took me a lot less time than it did last time. Indeed, I did conquer your coaster. Okay, and there's our last token. That's all ten, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy now. Hello. Indeed it is my lucky day. It's the finale, of course. Yep. Better not be rated R. Okay, so let's see what this theater is all about. It's so dark. And, yeah. Now you can watch basically any movie in the game again. Although, really, um, not the best prize in the world. I mean, you've already seen them once. So, yeah, although they do have nice quotes like, I'm a fawn, you dork, and you little fools. But still, like, not the best prize. Um, is it forever in our guidebook, though? Um, oh god, you're going to... 
Oh, skill points. Well, then looks like I accidentally got two of them. Well, yeah. Uh, so yeah, now you can go ahead and get skill points. They'll show you what they are, give you, well, show you the ones that you have, but you'll have to like look up on the internet or experiment a whole lot in order to find the other ones that you need to do. But that's pretty much it. Aha, take that, Yeti. You aren't that bad, though. Um, yeah, thanks. Good Nick. And there's a rock monster guy. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for the bonus world. I mean, not a whole lot going on here. Kind of a disappointment. First one was better. But still, pretty neat. Nice little thing to end off. Uh, Infinite Flame is pretty neat. Although kind of pointless at this point. And, yeah, but that's our game. We have 100%ed everything. We now have 100% and... which I just said. And also this big portal is now Dragon Shores. It's, it's nice. But yeah, that's pretty much our game. I might do a bonus video with the rest of the skill points that I didn't show, but I doubt it. I wouldn't hold your breath about it, because I am in no way skilled. And part of them are the speedways that I can't really do, but yeah. So, either way, with this scenery of the world that we've saved, Avalar slash winter tundra and autumn plains and and spring forest summer forest ah oh, spring doesn't get a get to show up but with the green sparks and a saved world aside from a few fireballs in the sky what am i doing i'm just messing around now okay well i will see you all in my next let's play slash super mario bros 3 goodbye <laughs>